me sweet tea welcome back to my channel <laughs> I know it's been so long since I have filmed and honestly we can talk all about it because I have so much to talk about today I'm going to be filming a drugstore foundation routine if that's something you want to see then just keep watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share for me and yeah I'll see y'all the next clip okay so first thing um can we see how like perfect this unit looks i love it this is my first ever wig i had it made by uh one of my girls back at home her name is akita wilson thank you so much girl for hooking me up i installed it myself first time ever installing a wig i think i did a pretty good job this is a 16 inch closure and then i have two 18 inch bundles and a 20 inch bundle so yeah as for makeup I am going to prep, prime, moisturize, and also do my eyebrows off camera, and so I will be right back. Y'all, my brows have had it with me. Like, they don't. <sighs> Most of this video is going to be drugstore products. This is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. I'm in the shade Dark Brown 05 for my brows right now. This is the best that they're going to get because, honestly, they're not trying to work. Like, look, I got okay whatever I'm gonna be going in with the L'Oreal infallible matte lock I'm looking for a matte coverage today that's what I'm shooting for and so I'm just going to put this on my face never used this um, product before and I don't normally do matte makeup so I'm looking for a very just natural uh, drugstore look for today so I'm gonna be going in with my starlet pal starlet pal oh my gosh can I talk starlet palette we're gonna go in the shade possible and I'm just gonna concentrate that on the outer part of my eye But um, back to what we were talking about. So like, how are y'all keeping up with this quarantine and everything that's going on in the world? Because like, I am poorly adjusting. Like literally, there's days where, like one day, I will feel so productive. I wanna make a YouTube video, I wanna take cute pictures, work out, do my laundry, read a book, start a TV show, everything. And then all of a sudden, for the next like five days straight, I don't wanna do anything but sit in the bed. I don't wanna do anything, like I, wonder am I the only one that's feeling like that one day you want to move mountains and the next day you want to be a couch potato I'm definitely trying to get back in the swing of things um, one of the TV shows that I just started watching and I'm obsessed with is all-american honestly I'm so late to the game because my brother and my sister told me so long ago to watch that show and like I don't know I was just always busy already watching TV shows so I'm like okay yeah I'll start it whenever but now that there's nothing else to do I hate that that's my reason but literally because there's nothing else to do I started it and I'm hooked oh my gosh I cannot wait until October 5th for season three to come out so so excited I'm gonna be going in with the shade what does it say outgoing and we're just gonna pack that on oh, my brush is kind of dirty when are my brushes clean they're like always dirty it's actually really disgusting you should clean your brushes ladies on the outside we need to make it a little bit darker so we're gonna go in with the shade auburn All right, I'm going to do the other eye the same, and then I'm also going to pop on my lashes, and yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I, <laughs> okay, so I just finished applying my falsies. I add these are the Double Up um, Wispies by Ardell. We already added our primer for our face, so we'll go ahead and start with our foundation. So we're going to be using a drugstore foundation. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 our fresh wear i wasn't for sure what my color would be so this is in 505 i'm hoping this is gonna work and then one other thing uh since i'm wanting a matte 
full coverage look uh, rather than using a beauty blender like I normally do for, for my um, foundation I'm gonna be using a brush that helps uh, just to make sure that it's full coverage and I'm gonna be spraying a little bit of my setting spray and I just want a full coverage look so we're definitely gonna need like a lot more And I tried to find a shade that was really close to my skin color because I don't want to have to put the foundation all on my neck because I just don't like being like self-conscious about it being there all day long. So I tried to find a shade that was as close as possible. I'm not going to put that much on my forehead. Um, but I still feel like we need just a little bit more just to make sure we're snatched. And achieving the full coverage matte look that we are shooting for. Okay, that might be too much. <laughs> Next up for concealer, we're going to be using the Infallible Pro Glow. I know I didn't buy the matte version of this and I really wish I would have but I don't have it but it's still the infallible um, line so I'm hoping this works and as you can see it's like super close to my skin color already so I'm gonna be going in on top of it with my Tarte Shape Concealer It is blending so seamlessly. That's so pretty. <laughs> Next up for this look, we're going to be going in with some cream contour. I'm going to be using today the e.l.f. one. Super excited. And I'm going to be going in with this darker one. Hopefully it's not too dark. I don't think it will be. I don't really have an issue with that. And then I'm going to just like a tiny bit just to bring some color back to my forehead. And I'm going to be blending that out. feel like we could do a little bit more which is where our bronzer comes in and I don't have a drugstore bronzer um I need to buy one so bad but I don't have one I just have my Anastasia Beverly Hills one the holy girl one that I always use um yeah before we do that do I want to yeah I'm gonna do my powder next makeup revolution banana one the... and I actually went to Target not too long ago and I bought let me show y'all I bought this powder um, sponge. It's used just for powder. I mean, you can use it for other things, but it's made for powder. And so I was like, okay, let's try it. And with my hand, I'm just gonna tap it against my hand to shake off. You see all that excess powder? We don't want that on our face. And I'm just gonna press it into my face. I don't know what's so special about this specific sponge because it feels like it's not really oh never mind <laughs> oh my my camera cut off uh before i could show you all the rest of my powder um uh, routine that i did but i just went on ahead and finished um putting powder underneath my eyes and then i did my smile lines and then i just put a little bit to cover up my whole face and then next up I'm going to be going in with my bronzer because we need to bring a little bit more color back. This one, my go-to, it's in the shade Mahogany. 
bronze in my face. I think this looks gorgeous, okay? Like, do you see that blend? Like, how everything is just, like, meshed all together? Yes, this looks so pretty. Okay. So what do I want to do next? I think we could use some blush. We'll do blush next. Tarte blush. Um, this is in Parte. Okay, so I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be taking the blush. Okay. And with the Wet n Wild Mega highlighting powder this is in um, precious petals and we're gonna highlight this beautiful face okay so stop playing with me look this is so pretty like one of the best drugstore highlighters let's be real i don't want to add too much though but <laughs> is there a such thing as too much highlighter i don't think so i'm even gonna add it to my forehead a little bit like, yes blue glow glow okay now i'm going od let me stop and finally the last part of this routine is the lips let me spread my face first because let this dry and then I'll be right back okay so now that our face has dried a little bit with the setting spray I am going to be going in with the kicks luxury lip liner in the shade roasted coffee and I'm going to be aligning my lips with it So next we're going to be going in with praline this is the nyx butter gloss my go-to we're going to go in and put that okay but hold up hold up we not finish after we go in with that Next, we're going to be going in with the Pro, um, sorry, Pro, Soft Matte in London. This is going to give us that matte that I'm looking for in the middle. And it's like a pretty nude color. Mia, stop talking. Okay. Mmm. It is so pretty. And I think that completes it. I was gonna go in with the lip gloss, but I feel like it's glossy enough. And then I'm gonna spray my face one more time. Okay, so that completes the makeup look. Uh, I'm going to go throw on some clothes and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I went on ahead and put on some earrings. I put on a shirt. I don't have no pants on with this because you can't see that, you know. So let me all get, let me all get. I am obsessed with this look. I don't normally do matte looks. Like I'm more of like a um, dewy, uh, hydrating, glowy type of foundation person. But we might have to switch it over. Y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this far. I am going to try to stay consistent and try to ride this wave. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this far. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please check out my other videos if you haven't already. Uh, send them to your mom. Send them to your grandma. Show with your dog. Show everybody. Yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.